Hello everyone! In my last video, we learned how to create presentations using Keynote, which can be very useful if you need to prepare a pitch deck for your next investor meeting, a product showcase, or a presentation for a conference, for example. But Keynote can be used for more than that. So today, we're looking at how we can use it to create wireframes or some quick prototypes. So stay tuned. If we visit the Apple Design Resources website, we can have access to several templates, guides, UI resources for many of Apple's platforms, like for example, iOS, iPhone and iPad, or macOS, the watch platform. This can be very helpful if you are designing, for example, an iOS application, because we can download libraries that have very accurate resources that can help you design your screens. So we made a video on this, which I'll put a link in the description below. Anyway, you'll also notice that you can download the design resources for Keynote as well. Okay, I've already got the copy opened. And as you can see, you get access to UI resources, like the system colors, uh, different screens for the iPhone X, We've got light and dark themed um, as well for the upcoming iOS 12 uh, version that's coming out. Uh, we've already got here some UI elements, um, icons, views, different controls, which we can use. So there's plenty of uh, resources we've got here, which we can use to flesh out a simple application. So here's an example. So let's add another slide and add a few more uh, a few more elements here. Okay, so I don't want to make this a long video, so let's reach a conclusion. The pros for Keynote are, it's free, you can add vector shapes which can be edited, so you can make user flows or sitemaps quite easily, and you can download some libraries like this one for Android or the web that lets you quickly prototype. But the cons are, you cannot create interactive prototypes, like for example in Vision Studio, and it's not as flexible as Sketch XD or Envision in the sense that there's shared styles, um, libraries, or, or even symbols, even though we can group things, but it's not as flexible. And there are less resources available to download as these libraries. However, it can be a free alternative depending on your needs. So tell us what you think on the comments below. That's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.